this is Mari X Nation or you can just call me Mari and yeah I'm here with something a bit different in a way um, but basically in this video I'm gonna kind of go through my thoughts on Chong 2021 I don't even know if I said that right I'm gonna butcher like everyone's names um, but yeah, I'm just gonna give my thoughts on Chong 2021 and into one, like the final debut group. Um, and I'm also gonna watch like the ending, um, like into one's first stage performance, which was like at the end of the four hour special, like <laughs> four hour, um, episodes, which was like the final episode. Um, cause I finally got through the whole show obviously like i knew who was gonna like be in the final group um while watching it um and the only reason why i kind of watched it is because of honest like obviously nine and patrick because i'm a massive bl fan um and i was not i honestly i was not expecting like this reality like survival show to be this freaking good uh, it's probably like it, it is honestly like my favorite uh, survival show to this point but just like this season because i haven't watched like any of the other seasons and i'm not really a fan of girls so i don't think i will be watching the next years but who knows i might be my thoughts will maybe change but um yeah the friendships in this series like in this show were so freaking amazing i don't know why it brings me to tears to even think about it like i was so emotional throughout this whole show like the first um like when yu yang um left oh my god santa just crying his life away honestly that that brought me like i bawled my eyes out because of that um it would have been nice that like if yu yang could have been like in the debut group with ak santa and ricky but obviously that didn't happen and it's kind of sad um mika oh my god i felt so 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 bad for mika the whole show because obviously like um oh my god <sighs> Han, Han, oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Like the the amazing rapper, like their bond, their relationship was just everything. It was so, it's probably my favorite friendship of the series, like of the show. Because they were just so freaking close and it was so sad when he left. Obviously, like Mika crying brought me to tears as well, and the final group. Oh my god, Kaylin being rank twelve just hurt me. Like I could see that it hurt Mika as well because Mika was like really close with Kaylin, and oh my god, I need to how to like how to pronounce his name. I need to know because <laughs> I'm. I'm not good at like foreign names and pronouncing um long longer names um but yeah it was Han Hanjing Han Hanjing Hanjing <laughs> I'm so sorry but um yeah he's him leaving like I could see like Mika was so heartbroken um and I feel bad for him because he's he wasn't really close with well that close with any of the um final uh debut members but yeah I hope that now I haven't really checked out like their recent stuff like the if they have any like videos or anything I know they're debuting um at the Olympics that's like that's where they're making their debut which is kind of like odd in a way because like no one has ever debuted at olympics which is kind of weird but we're just gonna go with it um oh my god i don't know why i'm crying um but yeah i'm so happy liu yu 
he absolutely deserves to be the center to be like rank number one and the fact that he broke the curse of chong 23 like chong in general um because i had like every single member who oh, i forgot what it was now but he broke it because he made it to the final he made it into the group he made as like the center of the group which is absolutely fantastic um obviously they all deserve to be like top one because they were all so amazing i'm but i'm so sad that some of the um people didn't make it but i'm not too upset because i told myself not to get too attached just in case um you know nothing really i don't know what i'm trying to say but like i knew the final lineup so i told myself not to get attached to certain people because you know certain reasons um but i did get attached to many and i did cry when they left because it's just me i'm an emotional wreck um but yeah what what else was i gonna say i was gonna say something else um i'm so oh my god <laughs> i am so incredibly proud of nine and how much he improved his fucking singing like those high notes and him being like the mvp of all mvps pretty much like every single performance like wow he fucking deserves it like he deserves like every single part of it um my dog is going crazy we love that um patrick oh my god his last performance like the dance that he did what like what i was i was honestly not expecting that like that whole thing just shook me um but damn he is so freaking good at dancing like what the heck <laughs> um also ak him not wanting to be in a boy group at the beginning of the show and then throughout the whole thing he just completely changed his mind and look at him he made it to the final group and i'm so freaking happy for him um obviously it's kind of sad to not see kaylin in the group and oscar oh my god those two those two are probably the two that i would have liked to see in the top uh, top 11 because I got pretty attached to them, like Kaylin's personality. It was he was so cheerful all the time. Freaking love that boy. And I'm like um I am gonna like watch some uh, Inception videos. Um and yeah, and I I will keep up with Kaylin and what he does. Same same with Oscar. Um who else? Boyan don't know if i'm saying his name correctly um he is so amazing as well he deserved it um his speech really touched me like he I, i'm pretty sure he did the longest speech out of all of them and it really got to me that touched me um linmo oh my god limo <laughs> his personality oh my days like he's gonna bring the most joyful moments to the group like ever because he is such a crazy person in a good way um so i'm excited for that um who else um what's what was his name how to pronounce his name um g g zang zang g something I know their names, I just don't know how to pronounce it. Like Zhang Jion, something like that. I'm I apologize. Um, his speech really got to me as well. I wasn't like the biggest fan of him throughout the whole show. Obviously, like he's talented and all that, and like I said, um, everyone, like all of them, deserve to be in the final group. Um, he just didn't really, you know grabbed my wig um but at the end like his speech like that really got to me because it like it touched a very um sensitive spot in my heart so that brought us closer emotionally so i'm excited for um i'm excited to see him in the group as well um and then there's daniel daniel and patrick 
their friendship as well that was like their friendship was so sweet and so cute um i'm definitely gonna be excited to see more of that um in the future um but yeah that's me talking 10 minutes of what i thought of like chong 2021 and like the final group into one um obviously like i have so many other thoughts but i'm not gonna make this video any longer and i'm gonna react to um the final like their first stage performance which was like right at the end of the um episode 10 um and yeah obviously like i've, I've heard a song already um but i haven't watched this so here we go let's 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 watch it i hope this is loud enough and this is like not fixed to their vocals, so... Oh my god, they're so cute in their places! First, first ever performance together as a group. Daniel is so fucking beautiful. I'm so sorry, but he is he's visuals out of the fucking roof. The ne like the next one. about like all the tears in this show like were worth it like they were worth it <laughs> and it was it's so freaking cute how you know patrick and nine came in together and they made it they freaking made it together and the same goes for santa and ricky like they came in did i even speak about ricky <laughs> I don't think I did, but um, yeah, Ricky and Santa, wow, their dancing is honestly on another level, they are such good dancers. and they have so many other like performances coming together <sighs> and all i wish is just we can buy like their albums but we can't because we're not in china and china work a bit like differently to like korea um but i hope that like if they do come out with any merch i can somehow get my hands on it because i would love to have it um i'm also gonna be buying one of those 
men hoodies that they had like at the beginning of the show um like the um, puma downtown men hoodie um which was one hand was pink the other one was blue i think those are the colors i'm gonna put a picture like on screen um but yeah i'm i'm excited about that and yeah i'm excited where this group is gonna like take us because i've i've like after like produce 101 or like any shows like this i don't really you know get too much like too attached to any of those groups but this one wow it, this this season has like shook me it's taken me to a different like universe probably i don't even know but it has changed my mind about like any of these shows so i'm definitely gonna you know see where this takes it takes them um as a group and like what's gonna happen because they do deserve it and oh my god i wish that like the rest of the boys like they could form like their own little groups because that would be so freaking cute um but you can't really do that can you um but yeah i'm gonna stop blabbering on about this and i'm gonna finish this video if you have anything else you want me to react to please let me know in the comments below um if you wanna tell me on other like social medias it's all in the description below um and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye